local situation. I got to show you this security camera at a pet boy store in Nashville. Look at the water bust through the front door. When the glass doors give away, the flood filled the store with several feet of water. Wow. Now, you rarely see a flash flood uh, like that one. Usually the water comes up a little more slowly, but wow, that was fast. And they're still cleaning up there in Nashville, the worst disaster in that city's history. Well, let's talk about what's going on here locally now. We have some uh, very heavy rain approaching the hill country, and it's not just rain. Uh, these are some strong thunderstorms. A tornado watch, as you can see, uh, including Mason and San Saba County, is in effect until 10 o'clock tonight. These storms have been severe ever since they've been out in the Midland Odessa area, dropping some quarter to golf ball size hail at times. Uh, some gusty winds certainly accompanying these storms and some frequent dangerous lightning and, of course, very, very heavy rainfall. And this is just the next wave. I think we're going to see more of this as we go through the weekend. Now, this was the situation at 9 o'clock this morning. We had the cluster of thunderstorms that had formed ahead of a disturbance down here west of San Antonio. That little area right there, when I put it in motion, you can see that it doesn't move for a little while. Ended up dropping 8 and a half inches about 30 miles west of San Antonio in the Lake Medina area. And this area of thunderstorms produced heavy rain and severe weather in North Texas. You'll watch these two join up as this one expands in West Texas. Okay, let's put it in motion beginning at 9 a.m. And there we go. Notice how it blows up from San Antonio, moves across the Austin area. Again, we didn't get all that much rain. Very heavy rain, delaying air travel tonight over in the Houston area. And now this cluster of thunderstorms moving down our direction. If this makes it all the way through our area tonight late, Saturday could actually turn out to be okay. It'll stabilize the atmosphere. If this fizzles out tonight before it gets to Austin, Saturday could be a little rainier and stormier than it otherwise might be. The disturbance that moved through earlier today moving east of us tonight, the computer models have not done a good job at all in picking up on the development or movement or strength of these upper level impulses that trigger the rain. In fact, it hardly showed the one that's out in West Texas tonight. So we don't know that we can put a lot of credibility in what the upper level pattern looks like other than the fact that we have a persistent trough out to the west and we know there will be at least weak impulses moving our direction. Now a front lies to the north, stationary front to the north. That's where some real heavy and significant rain could lie, but the front was up here today too and we had eight inches of rain west of San Antonio. So that doesn't necessarily correlate. We can have outflow boundaries laying around the area from this rain that developed here tonight or the rain that we saw earlier in the day. So that kind of acts like little fronts. And so we could certainly see heavy rain at some point tomorrow. Again, I think it depends a lot on what happens the rest of the night. Let's put our future model in motion here. Rain moving off to the east. Look, the model didn't pick up at all on this disturbance coming in from the west. That's why we've talked now for two days about how meteorologically this is a difficult thing to forecast with any great precision. We know that they'll be around here and there, but it may not rain where you are this weekend, and you could turn out okay. Tomorrow afternoon, showers, thunderstorms breaking out in our area late afternoon, evening. That's when we're showing it to be a possibility. Our computer model is not real aggressive with showing rain developing on Sunday, but we do know a cold front will get a push down here, and so some models do indicate a blow-up of thunderstorms in our area Sunday afternoon and possibly some severe storms in our area on Sunday. So stay in tune with the weather situation this weekend. Have your weather radio uh, cranked up. And then we could continue to see some rain early next week. Over the next five days, maybe another inch and a half to two inches of rain from Austin eastward. All right, right now, uh, temperature, look at those readings. In the 60s, won't cool down much tonight. 67, 68 are uh, current temperatures. Those will likely be our lows. Might even warm up a degree. Uh, winds are light. Well, 12 miles per hour at the airport. Mole today high. Uh, everything will be low if there's anything in the pollen count tomorrow. Maybe rained out. Cooler now where it's been raining today. Still warm along the coast. Here are lows tonight. Uh, holding steady, maybe even up a degree. Highs tomorrow, depending on where you, when and where you see rain, could be this warm in the mid-80s, but that would be the warmest, I think. Showers, maybe some thunderstorms later. 68 the low tomorrow. If it's not uh, raining, it'll be mostly cloudy, and rain and thunderstorms, certainly a possibility. We're going to go 40% tomorrow, 40% Sunday on rain chances, 30% on Monday, and then even Tuesday through Thursday, even Friday next week, uh, we won't be able to rule out a stray shower or a thunder shower any one of those days. Make sure you're with us in the morning at 7 a.m. for Austin News Today Saturday. We'll have the very latest on this developing weekend weather situation, Shannon.